is it really right to judge someone when you see the uprising in error, maybe even of sin? Should we give a scriptural word on what God wants us to know about what they are doing? Is it right, Jack? Everyone takes this verse out of context. And that's Matthew 7, 1. He says, judge not lest you be judged. Oh, we're never to say anything against anyone. Baloney! What does that mean? You are never to judge motives. But when it comes to sin and blasphemy against Jesus Christ in the Bible, we are to judge. You say, well, what does it mean? Judge not that you be not judged. He's talking about motives. A man gets up in church and says, I'm giving a thousand dollars to Jesus today. Oh, he just does that to be seen. You're judging a motive. We don't know his heart. But when they come along and start talking against Christ, we judge. In fact, Jesus, who said, judge not that you be not judged, said in verse 15, and he starts judging. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are raving wolves. And he says, here's what's going to happen to them. In Matthew chapter 7, verses 21 to 23, Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say to me at judgment day, Lord, have we not prophesied, priests, witness in your name, and in your name have cast out many devils, and in your name have done many wonderful works. Then will I, Jesus, profess and say unto them, Depart from me, you workers of iniquity, you bunch of sinners. I never knew you. They weren't saved. He never knew them. John 10, 27 tells us the difference. My sheep hear my voice. I know them. They follow me. And they give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. But you guys that are massacring the precious Savior like you're doing in some of your baloney doctrinal expositions, which are right. not doctrinal, they're fairy tales. I'm going after you today. 